friends, welcome back. Today we are going to look at a new pedal from Victory. I shouldn't really call it a pedal, but it does live on the floor. It sits in your pedal board. It will power all your other pedals, but it's basically the Duchess in a box. Uh, this is the Duchess V4, and it is a 180 watt guitar amplifier. Really interesting design in here. They're using three CV4014 tubes in here in the preamp section, which are really interesting that people don't use these in guitar amps. They were military grade tubes. They were meant to be used in airplanes, but 180 watt class D solid state amp on the back of this. I am pushing this through a Celestian Heritage which is in my little Marshall combo back here, a 16 ohm speaker. Uh, and because it is a class D power amp, it is, the output is dependent on the speaker load. So four ohms, you get 180 watts output. Uh, eight ohms, you get 90, 45 into this 16 ohm speaker. In addition to just this great vintage sounding amp, uh, effects loop on here, a direct output uh, does not have a cab simulator built in, but I'll show you a little bit about what we do, what we can do with that later on. Uh, a very nice reverb circuit, which I think you heard here. And it is a digital reverb in here. It's, uh, it's not a, really an emulation of a tank reverb. It's really one of the best digital reverbs I've heard in one of these boxes. Also has a very nice tremolo circuit on here. Uh, the way I've got these cameras configured, everything is kind of out of my reach, but uh, really nice. Oh yeah. And this is really meant to be a front end for pedals. Uh, it's designed to be just a really sweet sounding vintage voiced amplifier with loads of headroom. Uh, as you can see, I've got the channel volume maxed on this just because I love the feel of these tubes in this. Very nice tube compression, very little breakup. I mean, you can, let's, if I can reach it. I'm going to switch over here. I was using SSL1 Seymour Duncans, which are basically 57 Strat pickups. I'm going to put it into a Pearly Gates here and just so you can see what kind of drive we get out of it. You know, a little bit nice, you know, mid 60s crunch to it, but that's maxed out on here. I do, I've got to keep the master volume kind of low because it is insanely loud, even through the 16 ohm speaker. And since I don't have a wide variety of front end pedals here, I do have my favorite vintage distortion. It's a Ross distortion, which is a medium gain, uh, just really nice creamy distortion that works well with this. Check this out. <laughs> I mean, that is just a great sound, uh, but just as a standalone amp, I mean. It is loud, you can just you can just feel these tubes working in your favor. It's so creamy. Um, and the EQ on here is, I, I love the way they voice this. It's hard to find a bad setting on this EQ. I'm just gonna quickly sweep it around a little bit so you can get a feel of what we got. Um, quickly, I'll scoop all the mids out of it.
I mean, that is just sweet. I, I wish you could feel it like I am right now when you're playing this. It is just a excellently voiced amp. Um, I remember playing through their, the Duchess head that we had in, and uh, actually, I gotta say, I prefer this a little bit more. The headroom is incredible on this. Um, I'm gonna crank uh, the treble up on here a little bit, and the mids, take the bass down just a bit, and it really responds well to different picking styles. I'm just having a blast with it at this gain setting. I'm going to turn the channel volume down a little bit and it retains its character even at lower volumes. This is not a sparkling clean amp, but it's vintage clean, put it that way. I love the reverb in it too. Uh, as far as the effects loop, some interesting things with that. Um, I'm going to uh, put on a little bit of digital delay here. So touch sensitive, this amp is just killer. Uh, one other thing that we can try in the effects loop here. I'm having such fun with this. Um, one other thing that's interesting about this. This is something that I always check on amps because I've had a few that responded real well to this. Um, this effects loop, since we've got a solid state back end on here, check out a little bit of compression in the effects loop. <laughs> On top of all of this, once you got this mounted on your pedal board, you have a 500 milliamp 9 volt power supply on the back of here to just run your whole pedal board off of. Uh, killer. And it also, I'm using the direct output right now to run into a cab simulator and I've got an IR from this speaker in here. So I'll play just a little bit and we'll ABM and you can hear how good this sounds as well. a sweet box. This, and it, it sits on your pedal board. Can you imagine that everything you need to take to a gig 
could be in your little carry-on bag. Seriously. If you got uh, an IR loader that you can plug this into, this amp, your pedal board, all you need. Just incredible. Great job, Victory. I've loved all their amps. This is right up there with the best of them. So if you're interested in the Victory Duchess guitar amp or any other guitar, amplifier, pedals, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call or stop by the store in Evansville, Indiana. These guys are the experts in every brand they sell, and it's their mission to hook every musician up with exactly the right piece of gear for their playing needs. So give them a call, chat with them online. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, all of that fun social media stuff. And until next time, y'all have a great day, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>